Hello, everyone. Welcome to Amago Season 1, Episode 41, Process or Position. I'm your host, Vanessa Brown. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. This evening, our topic uh, of our study or our discussion is process for position. I want to begin by saying that a process is defined as a series of actions or steps that are taken in order to achieve a particular end. And we all have to go through various processes. There is a process for us to be born. There is a process for us to be physically developed. There is a process for us to learn. And there is also a spiritual process for us to develop our relationship with Jesus Christ. I further want to talk about this process is necessary for us to receive the prepared position that God has for us. In episode 40, we talked about that there is a prepared position that God has for each of us. The Bible says or tells us in Ephesians um, chapter 2, verse 6, that God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. However, there is a process, a series of actions or steps taken in order for us to take our position alongside Jesus Christ. This process involves breaking the spirit of pride. The Greek word for pride is zadon. It means insolence, presumptuousness, and arrogance. Hmm. Arrogance toward man and a presumptuousness uh, or godless disobedience toward men and women of God or priests or, or to God himself. The Hebrew word for pride, zud, means to boil up, to seethe. Uh, And if you want to, you just boiling up like with anger, right? Or this being puffed up. That's what that word means. And so we have to go through a process of ridding ourselves of this spirit, this characteristic of pride. The first thing um, I want to say to us is that some people will say, oh, I'm not I'm not prideful. Um, But we have to remember the the major point here is that we were born into a fallen world. A realm, this world, it is a realm that Satan, who himself was kicked out of heaven because of pride, is the ruler of. And each of us have been shaped by the influence of this world. It tells us, this influence, this worldly system tells us that we should strive to accomplish things on our own and we should be concerned about ourselves. So before we can be placed in our prepared position, um, God has to put us through a process to strip us of pride. The Bible is filled with many examples of this process. We can, for example, look at the life of Joseph. We can look at the life of David. We can look at Jonah. They all show us the process that they went through before they were able to sit in their prepared position. As I was studying this, um, The Holy Spirit led me to 2 Chronicles chapter 26, and it teaches us about Azariah, uh, better known to us as Uzziah. Um, And I was just, I, of course, I love studying the word of God. I love how he just reveals his mysteries to me because I 
I only had um, really paid attention to Uzziah uh, in the scripture in Isaiah when it says that the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord, right? So I had never really before um, studied much or knew much about King Uzziah. But first of all, let's remember that in Second Chronicles, his, um, his biblical name is, was Azariah, uh, and he's also known as, as Uzziah. And so Uzziah was made king of Judah at the ripe age of 16. Um, at the beginning of his reign, which really lasted for 52 years, but at the beginning of his reign, he was very careful to do what was right in the sight of the Lord. And the Bible is careful to tell us that while the prophet Zechariah was alive, Uzziah sought the Lord because Zechariah was his priest or his prophet, right? Zechariah also never knew this until I studied. Zechariah, the Bible says, was a teacher of the fear of the Lord, right? So this reverence towards God, Uzziah, excuse me, Zechariah was a teacher of that. And because Uzziah sought the Lord, God gave him success in his position as king. Now, let me let you know a little bit about King Uzziah. And now I understand why the Bible in Isaiah uh, signifies this point uh, that it was in the year that he died. Um, because Uzziah was a very great king. For example, he defeated the Philistines. He tore down the walls of three of their cities. He built new cities in their territories. He collected tributes from the Ammonites. Um, he built towers in Jerusalem. God made Uzziah great because, again, under Zechariah, Uzziah was seeking the Lord. His, his name was great and his fame spread. Uzziah also had many cattle. Um, he had farmers. He had fine dressers in the, in the fertile lands where, um, where they lived in Judah. He also, I thought this was amazing. He also had a powerful army of over 300,000 men. And he provided for his army their shields, their spears, and their helmets. And Uzziah also made machines that could shoot arrows and stones. Or he had the men under him to make these machines. But so he was very industrious as well. So God helped Uzziah. The Bible tells us this point until he became strong. So a key verse for us to consider is verse 16. It says this, but when he became strong, he grew arrogant and it led to his own destruction. This is why it is necessary for God to take us through a process before we are placed in a prepared position. The process is what keeps us from becoming arrogant and prideful. And, and prideful um, and arrogant is like mm, having this disposition of you have this high opinion of your own dignity, your own importance, your merit or uh, super, um, superiority, right? So I, uh, Uzziah became arrogant and prideful. Being processed involves us going through various seasons and situations, and circumstances, and these situations, circumstances, and seasons of our life um, are both to test us, but also to develop godly character in us. And, and sometimes our process may be like uh, the Apostle Paul's, right? Prior to his conversion, most of us know that he was known as Saul, um, a man that was full of pride, believing that only the ways of the Jews could please God. And how dare this new uh, religion um, even say or mention anything about the God Yahweh, right? And so Saul went around persecuting, rounding up, and killing disciples of Jesus Christ. 
He was full of pride regarding his religion, and he believed that he was right in doing the things that he was doing. So Saul's process involved him being struck down and made blind by Jesus. We find this in Acts chapter 9, verse 16. The Lord said, I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. Saul's name is changed to Paul. And after his process, he began to preach. But I noticed that everywhere that Paul went to preach, people tried to kill him. We later learn uh, that Paul's process also included what he said was this thorn in his flesh. He, and, he, and he tells us that this was given to him so that he would not become arrogant. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 6 through 8, Paul's position called for him, for his process to be continuous. Because he tells us that he prayed three times for this thorn in his flesh to be removed. But God told him that his grace was sufficient and the thorn was not removed. The position that God prepared him for was to be an instrument to, quote, proclaim his name to the Gentiles. Paul had an extremely important and difficult position that he was called um, to, and so was his process. See, your process prepares you for the position God has prepared for you and called you to. And your process is based on your position. Your process is not based on your past. Your process is, you know, God is not looking at all the wrong things that you did and and, and is deciding to put you through all of these things. No, your process is based on the position that he has prepared for you. So therefore, he takes you through seasons, situations, and circumstances in order to prepare you for the position. Now, your process will not look like my process because we are not called to the same position. I know that I am called to teach. Sometimes I preach. And while you may also be called to teach or preach the gospel, we are not called to the same people. So don't compare your process to my process or anyone else's. I have learned not to call everything painful in my life evil because I now understand that my heartaches, my pains, and my disappointments are all working for my good and are a part of the process in order to prepare me for my position. It is needed to keep me humble and to make sure that my character reflects that of my father and not the flesh. Uzziah was not processed for his position. When we read the scriptures, he became king because his father was king. And while he started well as a good king, when Zechariah died, he stopped seeking the Lord and lost reverence for God. He lost the fear of the Lord and he lost sight of his position. Uzziah, y'all, when I read this, I was like amazed. But Uzziah went into the temple to burn incense on the altar. Now, this position was assigned only to the priests of God. And there were 81 priests in the temple against Uzziah to tell him that he had stepped out of his position. But Uzziah was so filled with pride because of his accomplishments that he became enraged. Remember, we talked about that word pride meaning seething, boiling, right? Uzziah became enraged with the priest in the temple. And the Lord struck him with leprosy 
right there in the temple. After this, Uzziah loses his position and his son Jotham begins to rule over the people. Uzziah spends the rest of his life in isolation. Now, when we compare Uzziah to Paul, on the other hand, Paul goes through his process. And again, he tells us that he asked the Lord three times to remove this thorn out of his flesh, but God did not do it. That thorn was in his flesh and remained in his flesh to keep Paul humble and in his position. When we read the scriptures about Paul's ministry, like, and he tells us like he, the visions that he received from the Lord, right? He had to have something to keep him humble. Paul's prepared position to be an instrument to of the Lord to reach the Gentiles allowed him to write 80% of the New Testament that we read. He had a great prepared position, but he also had a very trying process, right? And what I want to share is don't shy away from the Lord processing you for your prepared position. Just as you have to be processed when you take on a new position here on earth, you know, um, you get a new job, you have to go through orientation, you have to learn the ways of the company, the rules of the company, their regulations. You have to know how the company conducts business. All of this in the earthly realm is part of being processed. In the spirit, the Lord has a prepared position for you. And in order to be successful in your position, he has to also process you. The process sometimes looks like pain. That process sometimes feels isolating. That process sometimes puts you in an uncomfortable position that um, stretches you, right? And ultimately, the process is to prepare you. Prepare you for the position that God has prepared for you. So don't be afraid of the process. Trust God's process. If he has given you a thorn in your flesh, it means that you probably have a position that is going to require that you remain extremely humble or you are also going to boil up and seethe just as King Uzziah did. Thank you for joining me. Please visit our website at omegohem.com and check out all of the coaching and leadership development services that I offer. I offer premarital counseling, marital counseling, individual counseling, and coaching. You can find me on Instagram at omegohem or join me on Facebook by typing I-M-A-G-O. Be sure to like and share the weekly posts that are both on Instagram and Facebook. But please make sure that you download the Amago podcast, and especially if you are on Spotify. Please check out the notes section, and there's a link that will allow you to support the podcast by subscribing. I'm continuing to add features that will allow me to engage with you. Please email me with any feedback that you have, any studies that you are interested in. You may reach me at I-M-A-G-O-H-I-M at gmail.com. We will see you next week. Until then, we shall be just like him. <laughs>